I want to go over some pros and cons of owning a CRT because you always see those sites where everybody's like, you have to own a CRT. CRTs are so great. They're so amazing. But there actually is some cons. And I'm hoping I can come up with some different cons because I always hear the same old, same old. Yeah, they're too heavy. Da, 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 da. I just want to cover a couple different cons that I think people don't talk about a whole lot. So let's get into it. So when you're watching movies, which you can see that I'm watching... The last boy scout right here and i'm at the ending credits can you see the white bleed through so this is more apparent on hd crts um granted the room is lit up right now so it's gonna look a bit weird but honestly you can kind of see it so you can kind of see it lit up there and you can kind of see it lit up around there and I don't know what the ultimate cause is. I think it has to do with how the CRT refreshes like this constantly like this. That's one of the things. And this is an HD CRT. So these get considerably brighter than what you're looking at in analog. So this is a digital CRT and this is an analog CRT. So I have noticed that it's less obvious on these guys, but these guys also get way less bright than those. So I think that's the ultimate cause. I would love to hear somebody's uh, theory in the comments if they know why that happens because it's way more obvious on an HD CRT and it can be kind of annoying. I've gotten used to it. This is a problem with LED monitors. So you can get the LED monitors with the, um, or, or TV screens with the, um, what the heck do they call that? Like the, the dimming zones or whatever, where they got the LED, instead of being edge lit, they have the the LEDs at the back you'll get that white bleed through and this is a problem that you don't get on OLED so I could see that being a problem for somebody that's con number one okay the generic thing I, I feel I have to cover this but I just it's just talk to to death about CRTs it's just the weight of them they can be like look how big that guy is let me see how dusty he is too they're just heavy I can pick these guys up by myself. Um, it's not a problem to me, but a lot of people need two people to lift these up. Just wanted to quickly go over that. It just gets talked about too much. Yes, CRTs are heavy. Um, I don't think it's a big deal, but some people think it's a big deal. They take up a lot of space. Yeah, 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 I, I get that. That kind of stuff's just been talked to to death. Let's get on to point three. The text in JRPGs, and I specifically want to go over JRPGs here because when you, especially when you look at an analog CRT, um, I don't know how well this is going to show up in the video, but this running this program, I feel like shows it a lot. You get the bouncing text. I feel like CRTs don't display text very well. And if you're playing a game that's like a JRPG, yeah, there's just going to be too much bouncing text. It's very hard. It can be very hard on the eyes, depending on your eyes. I'm not sure if the next one's a con. It's to me, it's kind of simple, but some people don't know. You can't really play 720p content on a CRT. You kind of can, but there's a lot of caveats. If it wasn't designed for the CRT, generally, it's not going to look good on the CRT. Um, this is an HD CRT that you can see right here. Um, this guy can display up to 540p resolution. This guy can display up to 480p resolution. When you get above that, there's going to be problems. Okay, let's talk about electricity. I think this is a very debatable conversation. So this guy you're looking at right here is about 120 watts of electricity. But I don't see what the big deal about running this for 120 watts of electricity hooked up to a Wii that I believe is using 32 watts of electricity versus running, uh, granted this is a plasma screen um, that actually has very good energy consumption. It's a 2013, only uses 67 watts of electricity. But I don't see what the difference is between using an LED that maybe uses 50 to 100 hooked up to a PS5 that uses 200 watts of electricity. So it's kind of exaggerated and overblown. But that's just something to consider. Again, I'm going to go to this because it looks to... I can see the flicker. Um, this can be a cause of eye strain for people. I'm actually one of those guys that actually can see LED flicker and it really bothers me. For some reason, CRT flicker doesn't bother me. It's just the way people's eyes work. So for some people, the CRT flicker can be eye straining. My recommendation is if you're using a computer screen and you're reading a lot, then a CRT is not going to be good. But if it's just watching movies or games and your eyes are just constantly eye tracking as you're playing the game, I don't see that as much of a problem. 30 FPS on a CRT is not the greatest thing. It can be pretty problematic for certain people but 30 fps on anything can create a lot of motion blur but on a crt it can be especially noticeable 
It really depends on your eyes though. So this is just, I'll leave it to you to decide. You have to play the game to see if that's a problem for you. Let's get into some pros. My favorite part about CRTs. 240p resolution, whatever resolution you throw at it, it's gonna look amazing. Here we got it running uh, the, f the component cable. So you get that extra quality. Yeah, it's still a 240p game, but now the colors are separated. You got the red, blue, and green plus the audio wire, so it just looks amazing. And then in the case of this, you're getting the 480p because I'm watching the movie. I'm actually running this through HDMI. But yeah, 480p, 240p, it's gonna look fantastic on a CRT. Never seen anything like it. Probably my favorite thing about CRTs, they're pretty much free. Yes, the retro gaming community has kind of ruined it and people are charging outrageous prices, but I went on there today and you can still find them for free all the time. People are just happy for you to take them and get them like out of their hands. And yeah, I've paid nothing for these guys, so you can just get them all for free. This one gets talked about to death, but the colors, they just look amazing. I don't want to spend too much time on it. That's got the five wires component. This has got the composite, doesn't look as good. Maybe it looks a little, little more washed out, but it still looks amazing. The motion on a CRT is kind of the reason I have Sonic booted up in here running the demos. You've never seen motion this clear. And what I'm referring to that is when Sonic's running and just the screen doesn't turn into a blurry mess. Every LED, OLED included, it just turns into a blurry mess, especially with like fast paced content, like a game like this. Um, when we start getting OLED like 240s, which they're pretty much starting to come on now, and people start developing the game so that they actually run at 240 hertz instead of 60 FPS like this game runs at. Yes, we're going to see some fantastic moments with OLED. Like, we're, we're super close to good. But a CRT running a game at 60 FPS is kind of the equivalent of an LED screen running at like 960. Movies. They look amazing on a CRT, and I'm not gonna play a movie because I don't wanna get a copyright or anything like that, but yeah, they just, they look unbelievable, and it's turned me into a giant collector of movies. It's pretty much all I own is movies. I got games up in the corner there, but watching a movie on a CRT, I'd never seen anything like it. It's like my favorite thing. And all these DVDs, uh, I believe DVD is 480p, like that's the max output. So yeah, trying to watch these on like a 4K TV, it's not going to look good. LED doesn't handle random resolutions very well, but a CRT, you throw a 40, 480p or a 240p signal, it's going to look amazing. Probably my favorite feature of a CRT TV is the low blue light. They give like a warm color um, it's kind of the complete opposite to an LED which you can see over there um, I get a lot of eye strain from LED um, I spent a lot of money on this guy though so it's good now but there's so many LED screens that are just not good and they just emit way too much high blue light and these guys uh, they're just so balanced and they just look so good and they just do not strain my eyes like even close to what an LED would do. This is kind of a bizarre pro. When I'm talking about the flicker, this is an analog CRT, that's an analog CRT so you, you might notice the flicker a bunch more and that can bother people. But I also suggest this, you may not notice the flicker and I feel like this has to do with because HD CRT converts it to a digital signal and somehow that manipulates the CRT flicker and your eyes might process it differently. I cannot see flicker on an HD CRT at all. Um, I can see it on these guys here, but it's just something to keep an open mind about because an HD CRT, although it does introduce a couple frames of lag and there is ways to mitigate that and there's millions of videos to show you how you could do that by buying like a retro tank or whatever, but if we're just talking about movies, even generally games, like you're not gonna be playing Mike Tyson's punch out on this, there'd just be too much lag for that, but almost everything else, you're not gonna have any problems with most games and all movies. But it's just something to keep in mind because I cannot see flicker on this screen, but I can see the flicker on this, but the flicker doesn't bother my eyes. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Th these are some of my pros and cons and I hope they're somewhat different than the generic ones that I've been seeing a lot about CRTs. Have a good day.